Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got a GVAT 2021 2.5 liter, 46,000 there kilometers. We got a check engine light. So I'm gonna scan for codes for this. I'm just gonna go engine on transmission. I know it's a good habit to do a full system scan, but just do a quick scan on this and what's going on with this vehicle. We got a P0456-7A EVA leak, very small leak, okay? History, very small leak, okay? So, that's on our EVAP system. Um, one way is just to confirm that it's really leaking. Let me clear that code. So that we can also, if we find a problem, when we try to fix that hole or the leaking component, um, we can, what do you call that, do this test and then verify if it's fixed or not, right? So what I'm going to try to do next is we're going to go to our software management. And we're gonna do a EVAP test. Okay, so this is the criteria. Let's press OK. Okay, so engine idle, warm up. I'm, I'm not sure if this vehicle is warm up already. I'll just press OK. No, so we need to warm up this up. Um, other way is uh, we can go to our actuation test and monitor our fuel tank pressure sensor, right? Because during um, ignition on, our canister close valve is normally open until it activates to close it but on our purge valve side that's gonna be normally closed right so what we can do is we're gonna look for that fuel tank pressure sensor fuel tank pressure sensor I'm gonna put in an HPA so it's more um, the value is more um, not accurate, but more or less because the PSA is too much, right? Um, and then we can go to our canister close valve canister close valve in there and then Wait, is that shut off? That's clock, okay And then ignition on Ignition off, ignition on So when I activate this I heard that and we should see a, a rising pressure now right and our fuel tank pressure sensor um, signal if everything is sealed so we can see that nothing at all and keep in mind that it should be at least with operating temperature because those gases when it's sealed, what will happen is it will um, expand, right? So that's why we're doing this quick test here. Um, so now, we know we have a code. Uh, we just tried to do a quick test there if it's really leaking. We're gonna go to our engine room compartment first and see if we can see anything there. Maybe unplug hose, right? But the code is very small leak, so it could be a pinch hole, you know? So, yeah, let's go to the engine compartment. Okay, so we're here. We're gonna locate our purge valve. Purge valve is here. Let me just remove this undercover. Oh, no. What is this? There's a nest. A nest somewhere. 
Okay. I got a very small leak, but what is this guy here? So let me remove all these hoses here or this um, debris. Okay. Nothing is in there. So far, I don't see any damaged wires. I guess this customer got lucky. But our concern is this guy. Um, so we're just gonna leave it like that for now. Now we're gonna be checking this guy. Let's just activate that quickly. If it activates, right? And I know I heard the canister close valve click, so yeah. So here's our purge valve. I'm just gonna activate that. Start. And you can hear that, right? The clicking. So at least now we can say that at least our purge valve is working. Now we're gonna hook up our smoke machine and see if we can find this small leak okay so I'm gonna look for our canister close valve or shut off valve as per the scan tool and the same thing we're gonna monitor that fuel tank pressure value uh, I'm gonna put in HPA uh, it's too bright too bright I know you guys can't see anything, it's too far. Um, we're gonna look for that so I will know that it's off. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that as you can see there. That's off right now. If I'm gonna press the start button here, activation test and uh, showing on, so I'm gonna stop that first. Okay, turn that off now this guy is our fuel bay for side here so we're gonna use our smoke and plug that in that's going all the way to the fuel tank charcoal canister and we're gonna close the charcoal um, canister close valve and it should be sealed if there's no leak in there so let's do that smoke machine is turned on so I'm just waiting for this guy okay you can see that there's smoke I'm gonna plug that in there and I snap that I'm gonna change the time scale here so you guys can see and we can see there's uh, changes now in the pressure sensor here and just to make sure that all our fluid or all our smoke is going all to the system I'm just gonna wait until there's smoke here so there's a smoke on our gas cap right now which is good so it filled up all the components now now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the canister close valve so that's on and we should see a rise of um, sen uh, signal there in our fuel tank pressure sensor so I'm just going to hold this I think I need a adapter here because I think it's leaking that's leaking, that's not sealed. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try this adapter here. So that it's gonna be locked in. I hope this will fit. Okay. 
now what we can do is this one is not So right now at least we know that part is not leaking. We're gonna lift up the vehicle. And in the most common points is we're gonna check our charcoal canister, right? And we'll see. Okay, so we're in our left rear area. Um, most of the genesis, the charcoal canister is in this area. So we're gonna remove this wheel liner here. And let's see if we can find that leak. Um, I also had a car um, with a very small leak uh, eve up issue what I found out on that one is I forgot that we should have done that earlier um, there's a small leak coming from the purge valve because the purge valve is usually closed right um, but since we're here ready Let's try to locate this. Locate this charcoal canister. Let me grab my light. Okay, so here's our tower canister. Um, our canister close valve will be the one on top there right and why there's a ground is it supposed to be like that hmm. that's weird okay so most of the problem on Hyundai's that I noticed uh, the mounting bolts especially with this stuff here that creates a small crack and causes give up leak right um, in this case what we're gonna do is can I pinch this hose okay so this part here because what happened if we're gonna activate the canister close valve when we do the smoke test usually when it hit certain pressure the computer will automa automatically um, turn off the canister close valve and relieve the pressure right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch this guy off here that's going to our fuel tank filler, uh, filler neck. So we're gonna pinch this guy and so that, you know, it's sealed and everything. And we'll look for the smoke. Okay, so I pinch our hose there after the canister closed valve. We can see on our data there that pressure is going up right yes. okay now let's see if we can find a smoke in here Oh, 
They got him down. Oh, they got him down? Yeah, yeah. But he was like just trying pieces of towels off. I didn't see any smoke yet. Okay, right, so I left the system, uh, what do you call that, sealed. I left it at 19, and it's around 5 minutes, and it's still holding that pressure, which is good. So now what we're going to do is let's go under the uh, hood, and let's try to check that purge valve. Maybe it's leaking slightly, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so what we're going to do next is, I'm going to take out this hose here. This guy here. Okay. okay. Now we're gonna activate the smoke machine. Smoke machine again. Okay, smoke is coming out. I'm gonna plug this guy in here. Just double check if, because this is normally closed, right? If there's smoke coming out from there. I don't see any smoke coming out from there. Let's go the other side. I don't see any smoke there. Um, I don't know what's going on with this guy here. We know that from our this line here going all the way there, um, it's holding pressure, right? We know it's not our purge valve because it's activating. There's only other factor too, it could be the gas cap, it's not sealing correctly because I had a car like that too, the, I thought that the gas cap can only um, throw a code for a large leak evap but I had a, you know, a car that it was not the case, um, it was coming from the gas cap that has a evap leak so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to warm this car up Let's try to do the EVAP leak test through the scan tool and see if um, I will attach the gas cap first, right? Um, let's see if it will go through to the system and if it pass or fail. Because if it fails, um, there's definitely wrong. And if it pass that we didn't touch anything, we just remove this guy here, seal the hose there on the canister closed valve and remove these guys. So, that's the only components that we touch um, if it pass I don't know we'll see though well, let's I'm gonna warm this car up and then I'm just gonna clean the debris there as from the nest of the I don't know from the mouse I guess and then yeah we'll do the evap test okay so I just warm up the vehicle right now we're at 81 degrees so that should be fine uh, let's go to our software management again a leak test press ok and 
let you go through. Press OK. OK. So now it's doing that EVA test now. I think it's raising the RPM to create a vacuum. So it says here the test has failed. Interruption due to error. Okay. So let's go back here. Uh, DTC. Let's see what code we have. History. So we still have that code. A very small leak. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm, I'm gonna try to um, remove the gas cap and retighten it and see if that will help. So. Secure our gas cap. Okay, so just to secure a gas cap let's do the management and also I noticed here as you can see in our gas gauge that's between the E and the half right or the quarter or something like that and when I did the EVAP test, it shows they're 30%. I don't know if that's 30%, because if I'm going to think like this, this is 100%, 75, 50, 25, and maybe 15% or something like that. But during the EVAP test, it shows around 30. So let's... As you can see there, fuel level, 32%. Okay, so there you go. It says test completed, no leak detected. So I did the gas cap thing. That was the last thing that we did. It shows completed earlier. We did this EVAP test and it shows uh, there's still a problem. Um, one thing that we can, you know, check really if it's leaking from the gas cap is I'm gonna remove the, what do you call that? The filler neck right and applied some smoke there and we should be able if we didn't touch anything on the gas cap but we saw that there's no leak there I don't know though why is it show here less than that's less than 25% and my my fuel reading there is showing 30 something maybe I'm mistaken um, let me check on our data and see what does it shows fuel level so it shows here 30% right 32 
I guess this is 32% there, right? But the way I see on this gauge is 100, 75, 50, 25, 0, right? Um, I guess <laughs> that's different too. Um, so yeah, um, I show you guys my process on, you know, how to check this EVAP leak, especially with the small leaks, right? Um, like in this case, yeah, the gas cap is the problem with the small leak. Um, I guess it was not tightened properly, but it's very, you know, not all the time that, you know, it's the gas cap fault for the small leak. Usually when I we did our process check the um, charcoal canister because most of the time it can create cracks there and it's very small leak. Sometimes too on our purge valve, the second last step that we did. And the very very last thing that we did was the gas cap. Um, most of the time if it was a gas cap it's always a large leak fault, right? Um, usually that's your you know the code that you will get if you have an evap leak code um so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that video i know we're jumping around and what do you call that and we just found out that it's just a gas cap and we did all those process but at least i showed you on how i deal those um this kind of evap leaks and my process because the important thing there is um you have your own process like me any type of leaks any type of eva um, problem that's how i do it so i don't skip stuff you know even though you know let's say if i have a large leak i still do the smoke test and see if it's really have a large leak right i don't just go straight to gas cap and yeah that's fixed no so the important thing is the process that you know and you're not skipping step because sometimes when you start skipping steps, that's the time the, um, you're gonna doubt yourself and having problems. So yeah, um, I guess that's it and see you next time. Thank you for watching.